Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. Today we're playtesting this game called Planet 27. I made a video about it. I think I had some, uh, rel well, okay, I made a video about it, and then I ended the video because I was, um, well, I got really frustrated, and it was, because it wasn't fun. It, um, the, the difficulty seemed to scale way faster than my defenses, and everything just became like a, a hassle to manage. Only now start building new Okay, I had to wait for that guy to stop talking. Um, so I ended it. It was just, it wasn't fun. It was, it was so unfun for me. It was, is that a word, unfun? It was so not fun um, that, that I didn't, I didn't even want to finish the, the level and like finish the video. And then it occurred to me, um, I think that this is a hook of the game, which wasn't made abundantly clear. It was just kind of like put there as like a, a side note or a footnote. Um, so, well, I'm just, I'll say it. But um, as we mine crystals, we get more enemies. So I think that that may have been my fault. Um, and so what I was saying before, and I interrupted myself, was that I published that first video, or um, I, I still made it, and I still am willing to share it, um, even though I was wrong for, I think, at this point, I was wrong for being so frustrated and not having fun. Um, I, I, oh, man, I'm <laughs> getting lost in my own thoughts here. Okay, I made the video. I got frustrated and got, um, I, I was having, not having fun. It wasn't a fun game, and I stopped it sooner than I intended to. And I made it clear that I wasn't having fun. Although, I think that it was my fault that I wasn't having fun, I still wanted to share that video because I think that there is valuable feedback in there, or maybe not valuable, it's relevant feedback. Um, there are still some things, and there are some points that I made that um, I, I still... As you say... I, I think are still relevant. So anyway, let's try this again. We're gonna we're gonna manage. We're gonna play along with the the main aspect of the game, or what I think is the main aspect, and we're going to um, take it a little bit slower with uh, mining the crystals. We only have four workers. I don't think that we need eight. We will need more soldiers though. And then we're gonna build. The doctor will be back here. And the workers want to have one Ready dude mine right now. And then the other Ready. three Ready are going to be action. control zero. They'll be uh, group zero. And then we will build a resource collection thingamabob right there. And then we have 250 Ready crystals left. Action. You can see up here in the top middle, we have 14 out of 20 population. Uh, oh, we, we were missing crystals. Okay. Ready and he action. doesn't appear to be mining the crystals, which makes sense. He has no drop-off point. This red thing, if you didn't see the other video, I'm not sure if I'm going to make these videos public or just share them with the developer, but um, if you didn't see the first video, then this red thing you can see on the right side of the screen, like the red hue to the, to the, to the world, is the red moon is active. Uh, we do less damage, they do more damage. Okay, so he's not going to mine the crystal. Was he full? Okay, that's what happened. He was full. Ready for action. And so now we're going to build um, these. At your service. Now we're out of crystals. I'm here. I'm here. C confirmed. So I wonder if I just put her right there. If she'll do her, do her thing. Yep. Really slow healing. So far, yeah, my, my overall impression about damage and, um, like, the way it scales and stuff, the enemies do more than us. But, again, I think that might be skewed because I brought on, I invited the onslaught uh, before I was ready for it in the last video. So we'll see how this goes this time around. We only have 100 crystals now. 150. We'll just have to watch that, I guess. These guys are going to go down here. I don't want... Oh, yeah, totally kill him. Right now, I really enjoy the sounds of this game. I like the, the ambiance that's set by both the music and the world noises. The ambient sounds in the game. It's very peaceful. If you can't hear the music, it's it's just like, it's amb it's ambient music. Um, it's very soft and gentle, and then that mixed with the birds chirping. It's good. Ready for action. Going too fast on the crystal harvesting, so we're going to slow Ready down. For action. 
So my my intent here is to is to keep this number as close to zero as possible while still trying to collect all eleven crystals in the allotted time. I'm here, so part yeah, like for me, part of playing a new game is is learning what the game I'm here. What's expected of me as the player and what I can expect of the game as the player. So like, you know, we I feel like it's kind of two separate entities that now we get this <laughs> this like tribal this like well, it's drum music. It's really intense drum music. But um but yeah, so then like we work together. It's this is kind of like totally abstract and it's like I guess artsy fartsy way of thinking or whatever, but where um like the, the two entities mindset where I'm the player, the game is there also and then like we're interacting together and we're each expected to do our own things um that kind of like mesh together well so we're getting crystals really quickly here i am talking not not doing what i set out to do so we're gonna build that ready for action no you are gonna build oh oh no i guess we're doing okay those those are expensive thing I've noticed is projectiles from the turrets, they don't impact. They don't impact the bad guys. What I really want these guys to do is not move forward. Um, hold position right there. And the doctor, do your thing. There we go. Can scavenge, can scavenge for resources and construct buildings? I think, I think that's the description for the workers, right? Or it should be. Um, one thing that's pretty common in RTS games that I like, it was kind of adopted, I think, like in the, like, middle 2000s, like 2005, I don't even know, but, um, on the right side of the screen, it's cool when it pops up, and it tells you, hey, you have, like, this many workers that are idle and not doing anything, that way you can maximize productivity. Oh, I built, did I build that right on, no, I didn't. You guys need to just chill out right there. The animation for these guys getting I don't know what they're doing and like they're interacting with the thing and it's like the, with the crystal node are they sawing it like with like a handsaw are they hammering it with no hammers I'm sure that's just something that hasn't been included yet I feel like this game's in um, early stages of development that the the music I think needs to be toned down a lot or um have the ability to change I'm gonna put this one right, like here. Have the ability to ch uh, to change the volumes independently. So like the sound volume, dialogue volume, and music volume, which th that's a pretty common thing Ready to have the se that separation in games. Oh, we have, so we need 300. We're almost there. I think at this point we might be able to fast forward it. Although I may have just poked the bear there. Like uh. B <laughs> I started myself down the same path as in my first video of this game where I failed. I'm going to build another air defense right there. Actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. Ready no. for war. We're going to Ready build it further down. Oh, did I just... What was that? Ready for war. Destroy building. Oh, it just destroys it. You don't get anything back for it, Ready so it's just wasting resources. I should have just kept it there, huh? That's disappointing. Ready for action. Ready for action. We'll build this right. Actually, shoot. So we need to build another generator down here, don't we? Something like, right? So I'm looking at the white circle now to see where the coverage is, uh, where it's going to provide power. I think right there. And I, I'm pretty sure that this is like the beginner map and so this is a very defensible location with kind of like three choke points and this up here it just ends there's like a rock wall that comes right here it's pretty symmetrical so i have 756 crystals again i'm getting ahead of As myself here i think wait can you not yeah build the thing right there and then let's spend a little bit more Ready for you are going to come down here and build an air defense, like, 
forward air defense. A lot of red moons. A lot of red moons. Hmm. So we have five crystals left. You can see in the upper right the victory conditions. Ready for war. Ready for action. And right there. Pretty common setup, right? I mean, <laughs> you just... I'm just building a ton of defenses Ready at the choke points. Action. Pretty intuitive so far in that respect. For this map, anyway. And, and I... Okay, so... I don't like the music. Like the, um, the Right now, I like it. It's peaceful, and it represents what's happening, right? Like, we don't have the red moon. It's not some huge onslaught of creatures. I get that. But then when it tran transitions to the other music, I think it's, a, it's too stark of a contrast... And um, I think that like the <laughs> the music makes itself Ready known a little bit too dramatically. We're gonna bring this. Can we build it here? No, we cannot. We'll put it right here. That's an air defense. Um, last time that I played this, there was a an, an air unit, a wasp that got back here, started doing damage. Now the music's changed again. We have four crystals left in five minutes. I don't think we're gonna get it. Let's call in some workers. Get a drop ship. It's funny how, like, the drop ship is, like, it must be just... It's not in orbit. It's waiting, like, just off screen. Just because of how quickly it shows up. I notice everything, like, the... Things are a little bit jerky like this. Like, when you bring up these... It might be my computer, but when you bring it, when you mouse over something, it's a little bit jerky, and I'm not sure if it's um, because of my computer or because of this. I do have something going on in the background that takes up a lot of resources, but um, the, the speed increase is what I'm talking about when I say this. We're losing guys. Let's bring the doctor over here. We have one crystal left in three and a half minutes. Get it, boys! You can see that it's... Yeah, I think we got this. Oh, and so each crystal can only have four collectors. That's fine because it takes him a second. Oh, no, it's like only four collectors assigned to it. I see. So then we got the victory condition. Cool. You did it, Commander. Good news, Commander. You have gone up a level. New updates and maps are available to you now. Okay, we'll check that out. New units, buildings, or upgrades. Wait a second. Can I... Oh, so we're unlocking... The level progression is... Locked. Okay, so we're just doing the moons, I guess, for now. Like, we only have the moons. We're not going to do another one. We're going to look at unlocks. So this is the moon that we can go on. And then if... Uh, just extrapolating this. So we have two missions per... Uh, piece of land, I guess, or like island. So we did that one because because before they were both yellow, and also this one has that check mark. So that's what I'm guessing. So we have a two, four, six, and maybe twelve total. I don't know if we're able to go to the main planet because it doesn't have like a selection like the other, the moons do. But anyway, um, one second. Let's let's. That's better. <laughs> That's 9%. 9%. Okay. New units, buildings, or upgrades. So right now we are level 2 and we have 2,100 crystals. 2,100. Minimum level 2. Um, artillery tower. Locked, 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 locked. Okay. Upgrade. Building repair. All buildings will now repair themselves automatical. automatically. I'm not sure if this is cut off right here. Attacks targets on the ground at a long distance. Deals severe damage. But what's the rate of fire on it? I'd like to know those kind of things. I'd like to know the stats of a building. Um, so that way... I mean, because if it takes... If it, if it only fires... So... Back up a little bit. Everything in the game so far, all the towers, from what I've noticed, they fire very slowly from what I'm used to. Not what I expect, just what I'm used to. They fire very slowly versus the games that I've played like this before. 
So, um, you know, traditionally, customarily, artillery fires slower than a Gatling gun turret, right? And so what's the, what's the rate of fire on this? Uh, what's the DPS? So, like, how much, how much damage does it do per round? And what's the rate of fire? And from those two things, you can calculate DPS. And so it'd be nice to have those more um, objective descriptions of, of towers and buildings and stuff instead of just this subjective, like, two-sentence thing. I think, um, I think a lot of people would kind of look for that when they were trying to choose which upgrades to get. So we have a bomber. It's cool to know that we can call in an air raid. But without, without more detail in this description, it's really open for interpretation, you know, to like, to, for, for, uh, it's, uh, man, I'm having a trouble getting this one out. It's open for interpretation, like broadly open, um, as to what some could, someone can expect from this upgrade. It costs a lot. It's 2,000. It takes level three to get there. So building base. Oh, I see. 4,000, level three. It is a bunker for 10 small units and activates the minimap. Drones can also build it. Slow down shield tower, grenade tower. That sounds great, but then, you know, like without... It sounds great, but is it great? I don't know because I don't have any numbers to compare it. So I think I'll stop harping on that. I think you understand um, what I'm trying to say here. Artillery tower. That's it, huh? Yeah, we use our crystals. I said again, um, I'm I'm not gonna play another map on this. I just kind of wanted to check that out and then see the unlocks, and we've seen it. We have uh, this map right here that's unlocked, and then we got that unit. So that's it for this one. This game's called Planet 27. Um, at, what is it? Version like yeah, 0 0.3.13. I'm playing it, play testing it through the GameRound.co platform. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.